Today we'll be looking at how to set up your domain controller to start collecting relevant information for your Nectarbox to monitor. This includes inventory as well as Active Directory and file share information. So without further ado, let us begin. Before we begin, please note that this current method will only work for Windows Server. Please see our Linux Workstation demo for more information on how to set up for Linux systems or our Windows Workstation demo for more information on how to set up for individual Windows systems. So starting off, the first thing you will want to do is to download the actual inventory and agent manager systems and everything you're going to need for it. To do that, you're going to have to go into a browser and then type into your URL docs.nectarlabs.com. You can also access the site by going to your actual Nectar box through the browser and going to the top right section and clicking on support to get documentation. So from this page, what you want to do is go to Initial Setup, Device Setup, and then you want to go down to Active Directory, where you're going to see these two links. Click on here, and this will bring us to a Zoho documentation uh, download link, and here you can download the actual agent. This can take a little bit of time, depending on how fast your internet speed is. And once this finishes downloading, all you want to do is unzip this file. Once you have your uh, inventory and agents downloaded and unzipped, you're going to be brought to a screen like this. Do ignore version 1, just go to version 2. And once you hit here, you're going to open up your OCS inventory packager. Next, what you're going to be wanting to do is actually launching the OCS packager.exe. You're going to run it. It might say some things, but do not worry about it. And you're going to be brought to a screen like this. Next, what you're going to want to do is under Agent Setup File, you're going to cl click this little icon here and look for the file on your computer. In this case, it's in our desktop. Under here, under here, and under here. You want to look for this file specifically. It should be OCS dash ng dash windows dash agent dash setup and you're going to click open next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down to google chrome or whichever browser you used earlier go back to the documentation site and then go over to inventory right here and then what you want to do is scroll down until you reach about this section here copy this like so then you can minimize that and paste it into this area here. Last but not least, for your IP address, you want to put in the server that you just had. For example, we use 172.16-5-228 for our previous one, and this is what we're going to be sending our information to for the inventory. Last but not least, what you want to do is put in the user and password to a preferably a domain administration account. That way we can get access to the inventory information. So in this example, we have silver 12. I do this right here. And then you're going to put in the password for that account. And once that is all set, all you're going to do is click next. OK and then let this run its process. And once it's done, you will have this item right here, which you should make sure that you have in a easy to get to spot, because we will need it for our next step. Next, what you want to do is go to your GPO manager section, go to the domain that you're currently on. In this case, we're at Silver 12 again. And we should be brought to right here. What you want to do is you're going to right click this and then click create a GPO in this domain. Uh, you can name the GPO whatever you wish, but usually we suggest trying to name it something that will be easy for you to remember as well as easy for someone looking at this at a glance to know what it's for. So in this case, we're just going to have name it something like Nectar Inventory. Click OK and we should have it appearing right here. Now with your newly created GPO selected, what you want to do is go down, click add, and you should be brought to a screen like this. What you want to do is go to object types, make sure computers are checked, okay, 
and then what you want to do is type in domain computers check the name to make sure nothing is wrong and then click OK and now you should have domain computers added to your security filter also what you want to make sure you do is go to the delegation tab on top once the domain computers are created and you want to make sure that under allowed permissions here that you have them all allowed so what you're going to do is right click on this and you should have edit settings delete and modify security all enabled like so once that is all set up what you want to do is go to nectar inventory and what you're going to do is right click it then you're going to click edit and from here we're going to follow a decently sized list of items to go through so we're going to first click on computer configuration then we're going to click on policies then we're going to click windows settings and then finally we click on scripts from here you have shutdown and startup options what you want to do is click startup right here so just double click that and you'll be brought to this screen now next what you want to do is click show files on the bottom here and you're going to be brought to this folder right here now to get through this next section quick what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open this in a new window go to desktop or wherever your inventory folder was located as well as where your packager should be and what you're going to do is first we're going to move the OCS package.exe that we created earlier so this is the one that you created we're going to move this right in here and then next what we want to do is go to inventory and agents inventory agents version 2 and then what we want to do is go into the packager Oop, wrong one sorry the agent installer and you'll want to grab this file right here and drag it in here as well now from here what you want to do is you're going to go to startup properties right up here and click add so what you're going to do first is you're going to go to browse which will bring you to this little area again right here you're going to click on OCS logon if it shows up like this what you can do instead is go to here properties grab this entire thing Oop. come on copy cancel go over here again paste this right here make sure to add that little forward not forward slash backward slash and then for script parameters what you're going to do is go back to the inventory page from earlier and then from here scroll down until you find this section right here and if you see this you're just going to copy that as well minimize this and paste it in here all you have to change in this however is you're just going to go into here and like before change the IP address to whichever you assigned your nectar box once that's all good double check to make sure everything is correct hit OK and then hit apply from this point onwards we're pretty much on the uh, final base what we're going to do is click OK we can click out of these two things right over here click out of this and we're left back to the GPO page and what we're going to do here is right click nectar inventory and then you see this enforce little button here you're just going to click on that and you're all set to go and that's it now all you have to do is wait for your GPO to actually begin reaching out to your main computers to begin the installation process. You should just note this, however, it can take a few reboots for the computers to actually get the GPO to push it out, as well as if your workstations use a fast restart, the GPO might not have time to actually push it out to those computers. So make sure when you set this up that fast restart is at least turned off temporarily temporarily to allow computers to actually get the update they need from the GPO. With the inventory out of the way, the next thing you might need to do is set up an Active Directory GPO as well, if this domain is used as your Active Directory. So first things first, what we want to do is go to Silver12 again, create a GPO, and then from here what we're going to do is we're going to name it after something that could be easily remembered. In this case, I'm going to choose Nectar AD since it's going to be for Nectar and it's our Active Directory policy click OK and now you see that's on our GPO list from here what you want to do is go down to group policy objects double click this and you will get a list of group policy objects look for nectar AD 
click on that and then right click and go to import settings. And from here, just do the following. Click next on the uh, import settings wizard pop-up. Next, you will see an option to back up your GPO. Do not choose anything to back up since the GPO is empty and will be overridden later. And click next. You will now see the GPO backup location. Choose browse and search for the folder called Nectar AD. This will be located in the folder you downloaded earlier, not Nectar AS. <laughs> so what you want to do is go through here. We had it under local disks. Next, we want to go agent manager. Yep. Right under here and click OK like that. Once you have that, then click next. You will then see the source GPO. Use the GPO that you just backed up and click Next. The screen will now show that you are scanning a backup, and once it finishes, just click Next and then click Finish on the uh, completing the import settings wizard. If everything worked fine, then you should see Nectar AD succeeded. If you do not see the screen, then it means that something was done wrong, and you have to go back and repeat the steps above. With this finish, you can click OK. And now you have to set up a global security group to apply to the GPO. Next, what you want to do is navigate to the Active Directory Users and Computers. And once you are there, what you want to do is you're going to go to the user group we just created, which is going to be Nectar Auditing in this case. And all you want to do is go into Properties and make sure that your global scope is that your group scope is global and your group type is Security. Once that's all set, all you can do is go to the Members tab on top, and then you want to make sure that everything that you want to actually have uh, your group policy pushed out to is in here. If you wish to add different members, what you can do is click the Add button, and from here, let's say you want to get all domain computers in here, what we can do is something similar to this. Check name and add that to the list of Active Directory domain services that you want to have controlled. Once that's all set, just click Apply, OK, and then you can get out of this section right here. And then, like a blast from the past, we're going to go back to your Nectar AD over here, go to Scope, and then click Add. And just like before with Inventory, click Computer, and then Add Domain Computers check the name, and you're all set to go for your Active Directory. And remember to go back to the Nectar AD and make sure this is enforced as well. Now last but not least, you have file share monitoring, which you can create a GPO for. Uh, most, of its, most of the steps you would take follow the same exact process as Nectar AD, with one or two minor deviations, so I'm just going to skip to the sections that really need to be paid attention to, and we can go from there. So following that, just create a GPO, Nectar FS, then we're gonna go down here, import, next, next, make sure this is FS, the right file, which it is, cool, next, 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 finish, okay. Then we're gonna click add, Go here, make sure this is computer, OK. The only difference here is instead of having it be domain co computers, you want to make sure that this is your file server. Check the name, hit OK. Once you have added that, make sure you go over to FS over here and make sure this is enforced. Next, what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to go over here, File Explorer. And then what we want to do is go to our Samba share right here and click Properties. From here, what we need to do is go to the Security tab and then click Advanced. Next, we go to Auditing, and from here, we're gonna click Add. Then we wanna do select a principal, and all we're gonna do is type in everyone into this box, check names, hit OK. After you've done this, all you need to do is click Show Advanced Permissions, and you're just gonna click Delete Subfolders and File and Delete. Once you have those selected, click OK, Apply, OK. After you've done that, you can get exit out of all of this. And then all you're going to have to do is go into a terminal right like this and then type in GP update. Ooh, I spelled that. 
update slash force and then press enter and this will push this policy out that way we can begin grabbing those files once you finish with the GPOs next all you're gonna have to do is go to your back to your inventory and agents go to this file right here and run as administrator and this will bring up the installation screen which can take a minute or two to finish installing and give it a second we should be ready to go and once it's finished you'll be brought to this screen and then all you have to do is click finish and let it run when the program opens the first thing you'll be brought to is this screen right here what you're going to want to do is go over to the IP address and type in your Nectarbox's IP. Again, in this case, it's 172.16.5.228 for this example. So the first thing you want to activate is metrics. This is actually what is used to keep track of the uh, domain controller's health. And then next, what you want to activate is going to be your Windows event logs. This actually collects the event logs which we use to populate our... Uh, populate our nectar box with just different types of logs that the um, domain controller has collected and what you want to do is go into here so since this is going to be an active directory and file server but not a workstation we're going to want to deactivate everything in here just to make sure make sure everything's like this and then all we want to have active is active directory and file share these will automatically give you the default options available for these but if you wish to add more, you can always come back here later on and add different events you wish to have tracked. For now, these will do. Save the changes and then leave. Make sure you run this again. You're all good there. Last but not least, you have audit data, which you do want to have active if you have a file share. And what you should make sure you're tracking you with this is you want to add additional paths and you want to add the file share to your path. This will just track any changes to that file share server to make sure that nothing is going wrong on it. No, it will keep track of all your changes that occurs on that server and that should do it for that. Once again, save the changes and now your agent is all set to go. And with that, the Windows Server Setup demonstration is finished. Next video, we will discuss how to set up workstations that are not under a domain to send logs to the Nectar appliance. If you need help, feel free to check out our documentation online or send us an email at support at nectarlabs.com. I'll see you at the next video.